Hello and welcome to the Album Man. And today I'm going to be doing a remake of my previous review for the album Blackbird by Alter Bridge. So I'm remaking it because I accidentally sent my camcorder on the previous one to web quality, not realizing how utterly awful it is. So I've now set it to HD ready quality 720p and hope that the quality is a bit better than it was before as it was I just wasn't very happy with it so anyway that's you know about the album so Blackbird was released in 2007 by the band Alter Bridge so this band consists of Miles Kennedy on vocals and guitar Mark Tremonti on lead guitar Brian Marshall on bass and Scott Phillips on drums now, Brian Marshall, Scott Phillips, and Mark Tremonti were all part, previously, of the multi-platinum selling band Queed, who, for those of you in the US, I'm sure will have heard of, but it then were not very big over here in the UK. But this is their band, after Scott Stapp decided he wanted to leave Queed, the other three members decided they wanted to form a new band and they liked the work of Miles Kennedy who was in some other bands at the time and thought they'd ask him to join them and he said yes and you know now they're all to bridge so this is their second album and many fans and critics would say it's usually the best album with songs such as Wise Today, Ties to Bind and Blackbird but does this album live up to the hype? so this album it starts off with um, Ties to Bind this is just, you know, a lovely song. It starts off a beautiful, delicate riff from Tremonti until it explodes into a dark, you know, heavy riff. Well, I mean, what makes this so brilliant? It's a typical bridge style of a mixture between metal and melody. The verse is heavy, but the chorus is so catchy, it can't help go around your head for days to come. Now, the next song, Come to Life, I mean, it truly does come to life in all respects. From Tremonti solo to another brilliant melodic metal chorus by Miles. I mean, you know, na- and then, you know, next, the tempo is slowed a bit, and you get the predominantly acoustic song, Brand New Start, which is just performed perfectly before unleashing a powerful chorus. I mean, the consistency in this album is phenomenal, with songs like Buried Alive, Coming Home, and Before Tomorrow Comes, performed to the same standard set at the start. I mean, Coming Home especially is brilliant on the highlights of the album. This band, they just, they have style to them, and, you know, most of the songs fit that style. But they're just all absolutely brilliant. I mean, really, really great songs, you know. So then you get to the main single, Wise Today, which is um, mainly about making the world a better place. And so certainly it's one of the more uplifting songs in the album. It's probably their best known song. I think it reached the highest chart position of any other song. And, I mean, for good reason. It's the same magical formula as they do with most of their songs, but with an even stronger chorus, and a wonderful end solo. It is, it is in my opinion, one of the best examples of Alter Bridge's brilliant style. So, in a in usual album, you know, most people would say a song like Rise Today would easily be the peak. It's a brilliant song. But no, not, not this album. This is no ordinary album. Because then you get to Blackbird. This was voted by Guitarist Magazine as having the greatest, and I mean the greatest, guitar solo of all time. Yeah, apparently better than Freebird, or Comfortably Numbs, or Stairway to Heaven. I mean, I can't quite agree with that. Those solos are just out of this world. It's certainly an unbelievable guitar solo, and certainly one of the best guitar solos of the decade, easily. Um... And it's a fan favourite as well, it's their greatest song in most fans' opinion. And it starts off softly, sort of, you know, reminiscing, trying to do Stairway to Heaven, you know, start off slowly and build. But then Miles comes in with a solemn tone for the verse, and then it explodes into a passionate chorus that comes straight from his heart. I mean, Miles Kennedy's vocals on this are some of the best vocals 
of the last decade, I'd say. Utterly unbelievable. I mean, he literally puts every bit of his heart and soul into this song and delivers it absolutely perfectly. Even Dio couldn't have done a better performance of this song. I mean, you think it's peaked, and then Tremont in Miles bringing the wonderful dueling guitar solo, trying to do a free bed. Not quite, you know, at the same time, but it's Miles starts first with a slower solo before Tremonti starts shredding and you never believe. I mean, you know, never forget this solo. The solemn verse and passionate chorus are because they're, this song is about Miles' friend, Mark Morse, who I've read online apparently died of a terminal illness. And the lyrics are just divine. You have to, you really should look through the lyrics and just read them because they they mean a lot to a lot of people and they are really great. I mean, if you don't like this song and you're not blown away by it, don't bother calling yourself a metal rock fan. The problem with Blackbird being the eighth track, though, is that songs like One by One, Watch Over You, Break Me Down, White Knuckles and Wayward One just don't sound as good as they should. And that's simply because after Blackbird, it's just nothing can be good. It is the pinnacle and peak of an album by far, and one of my favourite songs of the decade. I think they should have put it at the end, it would have been a brilliant end to the album, but you know. But if you listen to these tracks in isolation, you know, a few hours after Blackbird or a day or something, then you find a treasure trove of brilliance. They are typical to bridge. Heavy whiffs, melodic choruses, white knuckles seems to be a song they play live. I can't say it's the best song, but you know, they play it live a lot for some reason, I don't know. I mean, I went to see this band, um, about a month ago in November, they were phenomenal. Blackbird was unbelievable live, just how you'd expect it to be. They gave such a performance. I was so, you know, I was blown away. It was really brilliant. So, in conclusion, I'd say every fan of Metal and Rock should listen to this. It's one of the best albums of the last decade. The only thing that stops this from being perfect, really, is that the songs after Blackbird, they aren't as good as the songs before it. It does tail off a bit. There's nothing quite like Coming Home or Buried Alive. You know, White Knuckles, World One. They're good songs. They're good, solid songs. There's just nothing too special. So I can't quite give this the perfect score of 10. But I'm certainly going to give it a deserved 9 out of 10. So thank you for watching. This is The Album Man. Comment, wait, subscribe. And if there's any albums you would like me to review, then please tell me. Um, and I can, you know, try and get a review done for you. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.